welcome to the interview. Right, um, I've been trying to do a video with everybody on their birthdays, and unfortunately, I didn't get to do Megan's, but that's okay. Uh, she didn't want to, or she, we didn't have time. Anyway, uh, right here, I'm here with my father. I finally got him to be in my video now, so say hi to wherever you are. Hey guys. All right. <laughs> Well, I've got some questions from your all your fans. Okay. And they. <laughs> all right, we got um, a couple. It's first one is how does it feel to be the father of a semi-famous family band? Feels great. Let me tell you, Brandon. I just can't be more proud of my semi-famous family band. I'm just overwhelmed with joy. I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, any, any of you folks out there that have, you know, semi-famous family bands, you should be proud of them. It's great. Man, it's awesome, dude. Way to go. Wow. Yes. All yeah. right. Wow. Moving on from there, uh, what would be, this is a question from Megan, one of your fans. Uh, she says, what is your favorite car? One of your favorite types of cars. What's my what's my favorite car? Or what just one of types them. of cars? You can do brand. We'll um, just do that and be easier. Well, seeing how I don't even own probably any one of these, I would say you know probably like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or you know I mean I've never driven one but but those would be one of my favorite cars. Um, but what one, one that a poor man can own you know probably. A, I don't know. A Yugo, maybe? Or... Okay. Those are pretty fast, right? I mean, those are pretty stylish these days, I think. Okay. Uh, well, next question would be, if you could pick a new career, what would it be? It would be doing nothing. Probably. Or I'd be a car dealer. I don't know. I mean, you know, I could probably do a lot of things. Or I could be a, a semi famous uh, sound guy for you guys. I mean, yeah. you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I, I think I could probably try that, try my hand at that. I, I don't know, I thought about being a, a trash man, you know, thought that might be fun, or beach bum, maybe. Yeah. You know? That'd be nice, because yeah. if you go to the arcades, you can like get the Oh yeah, man, they, I heard they pay a lot, yeah. so I'll try that. That'd be nice. All right. What do you hope to accomplish this year? No, it's been a hard one. <laughs> what do I want to accomplish this year? Mm, let me think. Oh. I'm trying to survive. Okay. Yeah. How about that? That's, that's all we want. That's all we want to yeah. try to survive. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, what are some of your pet peeves? If you know us, know what that is. Probably do. My pet peeve. Well. Got a lot of them. Oh, might no, be yeah, a long list, you know. <laughs> but maybe one of them might be, you know, when you have a lot of kids, they're just things get messed up. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. I tell you, it's just it's crazy trying to clean after some of some of these kids. Yeah. I, I feel like I got a dentist the mess. You know yeah. what that is, a dentist the mess, right? You probably don't, cause you're Do pretty you young. But Dennis the Menace, if you guys all remember the cartoon, was was this little kid that went around and wow, I mean, you could tell where he was. I mean, he made a mess everywhere he went. The bathroom, the laundry room, the kitchen, the bedroom. Oh my goodness, you could, just a whirlwind of just wow. craziness. Well, wow. Those are some of my kids, guys, so. Yeah, I, I don't, okay. Menace is all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is another que question from Kyle and one of your fans. Uh, she says, how many coats and shoes do you go through a year? Wow, that's a good question. Not very many. I, I don't buy very many clothes. Man, I wear the same pair of shoes for 20 years. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe the same coat. <laughs> yes. Okay, wow. And this last one is also from Kyle and she says, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Where would I go? That's a good question. Away from here. Probably away from here. Yeah. <laughs> but I like coming back here. I don't know. I mean, you know, home home's such a such a nice place sometimes. It, yes. But you know, anywhere I could go, anywhere I could get rest. How about that? There you go. That, that there yes, that is good. Anywhere I can get rest. Yes. I, I'd, I'd love that. Yeah. Anywhere I can get rest. That's good. Well, that has been our um, 
interview with our dad, so thank you so much, and uh, we uh, all wish him a happy birthday. Thank you.